Hey guys, this week we did a little Class C made by Coachman. We put a small system in this one. This is a budget-friendly system, guys. I mean, I can get this installed for you, equipment, labor, everything, for less than $9,800. We put in a single 300-amp-hour Big Beard battery, and then we put in a 3,000 kVA inverter charger. Like always, we still got the Lynx distributor. What is a little different is we cut the cutoff switch on this one. This has a power button on it. So cutoff switch is somewhat redundant. So on a budget-friendly system, we're going to shave anything that's not absolutely necessary. We still put in a catastrophic fuse and smart shunt. I mean, you don't want to get rid of those. And then we got the solar controller here. It's 150-60 for the 820 watts that are on the roof. Uh, I made a hole down through the floor here. I mean, essentially, this is like one big plastic box in the back for storage. But I made a two-inch hole there. And I almost forgot about the solar disconnect. We still got that. I didn't cut that out. It's just over by the door where the guy can easily reach it. So this is underneath where the batteries are. So like straight down below the battery and, and solar controller. That's the two-inch hole I was talking about that I made to run the wires through. I'm going to spray foam with shut so you can't get any moisture or rodents in there. And you can also see I ran my wires through loom. So anytime it's a motor home or wires are going to be exposed to going down the highway, I always run them through a plastic loom. It's the same plastic loom that you would see the manufacturers use. So I got two sets of them here. I got one that's got the data lines and the two gauge 12 volt line I run up front. And then the other one is 220 volt lines for uh, the inverter between breaker panel box transfer switch and stuff so they kind of run along the frame line here you always got to be mindful of the exhaust and you can see the exhaust there kind of goes up inside so that gives off a lot of heat obviously so i know you can't really see my wires but they do run through there this is the other side of the axle so closer to the front of the rv now same thing you can't really see the wires but the exhaust is right there so i had to keep them as far away from that as possible so they're zip tied with other wires along the top of the curb top of the axle or frame rail there so this goes to the back underside of the breaker panel box these lines here are 12 volt lines they go into where the house batteries used to be so here's the breaker panel box by the front door it's kind of an odd placement for it and then the house batteries used to be underneath the step which is pretty standard in all class c's and then you got the 12 volt system here this is where the house and chassis used to combine i separated them and then that line there is that two gauge wire ran the power of the house from the lithium this is behind the breaker panel box so this is the eight gauge romex that i run and this is the transfer switch it's a basic 30 amp transfer switch mounted right to the back of the breaker panel box it's like like any other transfer switch got the generator in short power in and then used to go out to the breaker panel box now it goes out to the inverter and then back from the inverter to the breaker panel box i always use eight gauge romex out from the inverter because there's a chance there could be more than 30 amps on that line i also ran the servo that's the power line for it there screens up there you can kind of see the servo mounted to the ceiling there that little blue box we got the screen on here and batteries are 100 percent and they're plugged into my rv we got some shore power coming in everything working good this white dog's named gus that was the customer's dog it's been running around crazy with my weimar reiner the whole time he's been here having a good old time so up here on the roof we got starlink it's kind of been a standard lately to install like starlink for people especially since it's so cheap right now i always end up having to pull my mount down because you can't buy the mount at home depot but that's not a big deal i just order a replacement and put it back up there and we got two 410 watt solar panels made by q cell so 820 watts total which would be a pretty good amount for keeping that 300 amp hour big beard battery charged you can see a whiny hiding down there they blend in pretty good so there's another one complete for you guys certainly reach out today i'd love to meet any of you and get you all plugged in the nature Thanks a lot.